Hey, Monte, good to see you. What are the, the what would have been the key points of emphasis um, when going up against this backcourt in CP and um, and book? What what are they emphasizing these last few days? Uh, just trying to make it tough, man. We just seen a great backcourt, and they deserve you know the same amount of attention that we just played against. Um, so just trying to make it real tough on them, man. They're great players, so we just got to come in and do it together with a collective effort and play all 48 minutes and, uh, you know, put ourselves in the best position to win. Brandon Cristal, KOA Denver. Hey, Monte, Coach yesterday, you know, talked a lot about his time with Chris Paul and, and just what a great leader he is and, and the best leader he's ever been around, included LeBron and, and Nicola and that. When you're on the court, can you sense that from Chris Paul, that it's different when he's out there than, than other point guards you play against? I mean, yeah, I mean, he does his homework. He know what we running. You know, he know our cause and everything. Um, so it's just a, um, just an eye opener just to where I can try to get my leadership to and just knowing things on the floor, uh, knowing guys' tendencies and things. So I definitely can sense it. I mean, me going to his camps a lot, like last two, three years, I picked up a lot of, you know, his game and just the way he carried himself. So. Um, I definitely see it because I know what to look for out there, especially being a point guard and being around him. So. Dwayne Rankin, the Arizona Republic. Hey, Monty, I had uh, two questions. One um, about Torrey Craig, and obviously you, you're you familiar with him. You guys are familiar with him. Uh, when he got picked up by Phoenix, did you sense he could have that kind of impact that he's had? And then two, uh, Campazzo, his aggressiveness on defense. Uh, does he give that same kind of hell uh, in practice as well and getting after guys? Yeah, he do. Um, starting with uh, Paco, uh, yeah, he definitely does. You know, whether it's coaches, script, or, you know, players, he bring the energy, um, you know, active hands and just, you know, try to change the narrative of the game and uh, play at this great pace. And, you know, he got great vision to add on that. Um, so, yeah, he definitely does. Um, you can see it when the light's on. But also with Tori, yeah, um, Paul Phoenix you know, was looking for a guy like Tori, a um, guy who can cut well, make a three, and defend at a high level. So I think him being on that team definitely, you know, took him to that, that next tier level for sure. Romero, Altitude Sports. Hey, Monty, this team didn't bat an eye when the injuries went down. You guys actually rose in the standings going down the stretch. You come back. And just the overall demeanor of this team, how big is it that you built that confidence and when everybody else in the NBA maybe doesn't believe, then you win a series and you put that confidence with that belief? I mean, we, you know, we just work real hard, man. And at the end of the day, no matter what you do, you know, you got to be a next man up mentality. And, we got to carry ourselves with that pride. I mean, everybody wrote us off because everybody don't watch the Denver Nuggets basketball or be in our practices and things like that. So, I mean, hell, if I was on the outside looking in, I would have counted us out too. But, you know, we got the guys who was ready for the opportunity and working their tails off, stepped up. So um, it was very, very, very easy for anybody on the outside not being with us every day and grinding the time is out. But as you can see, we got a very good team and guys is ready to step up. All right, Monte, we got time for one more. We're going to end with Mike Singer from the Denver Post. Hey, Monte, I was going to actually ask you about Chris Paul as well, because um, I, obviously I know your relationship goes back a little bit. What are those conversations like when you're at his camp and you're picking his brain? Um, and does he have, does he ever put up like a competitive edge? Like, no, man, we're not teammates. I don't need to tell you everything. A anything of that? Uh, no, not really. I mean, on the court. It's a dap, what's up, and it's all, you know, wartime. We, we would talk after the game, things like that. But, I mean, during the camps, it's all love. You know, he's giving the knowledge to me, and, you know, I was able to soak it in and find ways to get off my mid-range shot as well as he does and things like that. So, yeah, it never was a no, we're not teammates type thing. It was just always coming and showing love and showing the college kids and talking to them about, you know, my story and things like that. So, um, yeah, that's all it was. All right, I'll do. Thank you, Monte.